Hello, Dave here. Just having a wander about in Sheffield today. Uh, got the Peace Gardens there. I'm just off the Peace Gardens. I noticed this building last night. What an absolute stunner of a building. It's a stunner of a building. It's definitely a mud flood pre reset building. Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, see the archway? And the metal grill in front, protect. It's down below. I think that's the only one along the front there that we can see. It's not that big of a building, but you know, it's it's been left to get in such a bloody state. <laughs> it's a Salvation Army building. Uh, it's, uh, my friend from Sheffield's told me about this building many times, but it's the first time actually seeing it. The air vents, the top there. Just move along a bit and see if I can get a bit better angled straight on from the front. Look, there's certainly some redevelopment going on around here. It's such a stunning building. You know, the council should be pretty shot for allowing it to get in this state. I mean, we have the same problem in the town where I live, only a small town. And what you get out of the council is, oh, well, we don't own the actual building, so we can't do nothing with it. Well, if that's the case, they could certainly be on the landlord's back. But what happens so often with these places is the window will be broken somewhere. The pigeons will get in after four or five years, ten years. They've made so much bloody mess. All the beams, things like that, become unstable, and the building quite often becomes structurally unsound. All the other thing is, kids get in and uh, put a match to it. It is, it's really incredible. So I don't know the history of it. But I'll just move along and show you, you know, right the way along really. It's uh, common garden air vent. Put all these. See where I'm standing now, when this building was first built, the road wasn't here. As you know, there was no road. The actual ground level was maybe about 10 or 12 foot below what it is now. That's what causes, as you can see there, at the very, very top archway, it actually looks very, very similar to light that archway there. So if you take that into account, that may be, I don't know, six foot window there. It's quite probable that the six to eight foot window down there as well. So what I'll do, I'll move around the corner a bit and see if I can get a bit better view. Right, we're on the side now. There's not that much to see really. Uh, You've got lovely side on view of these towers. Uh, I mean, I've got no idea when this was built. I would think it'll have the same old characteristic stories of built in the 1800s. But, you know, it's clearly a mud flood building. And I'll show you what I mean. You know, you can clearly see.
see the metal rolls on the floor and it just so happens we have one over here that uh, the metal's missing off it and it's difficult to see down there but it's quite adept down there Oop. No, it's a bit shaky but not the same right round the building. You will see when we go around the front of the building here. Uh, right pull out of it. People have obviously tried to get in there. I mean I'm not going to attempt to but you know it's uh, Hmm, very interesting indeed. So, let's move on a bit and see what else we can find.